Oh, wow. I just got my new Max Peating Rod 3500 generator. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Everything RV with Dave. I've been waiting for this for about a week. Uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing, and then I'm going to start it up and do a uh, sound check. So stay tuned for the Max Peating Rod generator. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Well, the first thing I see is a uh, plug. Yeah. So there's a RV plug. We'll have to figure out how that works because it's probably for wiring it up. And we have a oil fill. And we have a little tool kit, spark plug remover and screwdriver. And we have a nice piece of Oh, that's nice. Max Peating's Peating Rods cover. That's pretty nice. And then we have the generator. Let's go ahead and get it out of here. Ooh, bottom of the box. This is kind of nice for a generator. They go ahead and give you the parallel cables for uh, hooking up more than one generator. That's pretty nice. Well, the first thing I noticed picking it up and putting it on the table is that I had a uh, Harbor Freight 2000 watt generator. And this generator Max Peating's rods is actually a little bit lighter. It's a little bit easier to pick up. And what's really remarkable is that the footprint of this generator is almost identical to the Harbor Freight 2000 watt. But as you can see, this generator is a 3500 watt. That's a 3500 watt starting and I believe 3,000 watt running. Has a couple little doors here. And there's a door for the uh, oil. And there's a door for the air cleaner. And right up here on the top, is a little door for the spark plug removal. Now let's take a look at the front. In the front, this is the one thing that I really like. It has a 30 amp RV plug. You know, I really won't have to use any other type of converter other than my dog bone to go 30 amps to 50 amp. Then it has two regular one, 110 outlets. This is for the parallel ports. There's your reset. It also has for, you know, doing your uh, USB ports. And all these have, uh, have nice covers. And there's your on-off for the uh, ecosystem. This uh, particular generator also has a CO2 alarm. You know, if it starts uh, registering with a high CO2, it will shut the generator off. Here on this side, you've got your uh, starting handle. And in the back, you've got your exhaust. 
and a, a fairly large muffler, which is really nice for uh, sound deadening. Now, I don't know how well this is coming out on the video, but if you take a look, I have filled the oil to it's just about trying to run out of the, you know, out of the hole. And that is the, uh, that is the correct amount of oil for this generator. So once again, you know, this, this generator, it does not come filled with oil. I'm sure they ran it at the factory, but then they drain all the oil out. Now, one thing I like to do on any generator that I just start, I leave it in the off position and I just want to, I want to turn it over a couple times real slow. And all I did was pull the uh, cord a few times real slow and I want to turn the crank. I want to get the oil in there moving around. So we're in pretty decent shape. Put some gas in it and let's fire, let's fire this, uh, this generator up. Now, here at the top, you can take a look. You know, it is a uh, 60 hertz. Uh, the load is 25 amp. And the RPM on this is what really makes this size generator be able to produce the 3,500 watts. This is a high performance uh, 4,850 RPM motor. So, you know, that's what really sets this apart. Most generators are much less than that in the RPMs. So the same size generator is a Harbor Freight 2000, and it can put out almost double the, the power. Now, looking down into where I put the gas, you can see the uh, red ring. Uh, they say not to fill the gas any higher than that red ring. So I'm going to make sure that that's what I do. Okay, I set the, uh, the motor on choke. I have gas in it. It takes 1.1 gallons. So let's see if it'll start up. That's pretty good. The second pull, it started. Max peeving rods. I'm about eight feet away from it right now. And I will tell you, it is about the same sound, if not less than the Harbor Freight 2000 watt generator. I'm now probably 20 feet away and it is extremely quiet. honest with you I had it running full speed now I just set it on the echo mode that's the echo mode and again 20 feet away uh, I, I'm going to do a sound check but to me this generator is quieter than the Harbor Freight 2000 So about uh, 23 feet away, uh, we're 57, 58 decibels uh, with the max peating rods, 3,500 watt generator. That's the uh, sound quality, but it's a deeper sound than, uh, than the Harbor Freight 2000, which I don't believe is, is as annoying. It's not as tinty. So that's the Max Peating Rods uh, 3500 generator. So far, it's, uh, it's a lot of things I like. I love the fact that it's about the same size, possibly a, small, a little smaller 
than the uh, Harbor Freight 2000 watt generator. I also like the fact that it's about, I would say two pounds lighter. It seems to be a lighter than the Harbor Freight. Uh, it's fairly quiet. Uh, you know, it's uh, maybe six decibels louder than the 2000 watt generator. Uh, you know, if you, if you like this little video, if you enjoy what I've been trying to do, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe. It surely helps me and uh, I do appreciate everybody that watches my videos. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video.